In this video, we are going to write code for knapsack problem. So let's write that. So we have a method called knapsack, which is going to take three arguments. First one is revenue, second one is knapsack capacity, the sack capacity. This last one is the index, the last index of the array. So the first base case which we need to ask is like um, if the index goes less than zero then we don't have any item we don't have nothing to pick so it should be zero right like whenever the index goes less than zero then return zero the second question before you pick any item we just need to ask a question can i put this item into a sack or not so how do you ask like um the sack capacity minus weight of this item should not be less than zero if it is less than zero then we have to return zero the next question uh, what happens when we pick this item what happens when we don't pick this item and find the maximum profit from if you choose the item and find the maximum profit if you don't choose the item and come and and you just need to decide like which one is larger that's what we need to take so here it since it's a maximization problem we have to call a max method and we are going to uh, uh, pick the uh, choose the item in the left side choose the, uh, and don't choose the item in the right side if you choose the item we just need to include the price of the item and we just call knapsack problem and the revenue and the sack capacity goes down since we chose the item um, and the index goes by goes down by one okay this is uh, this is choosing an item or picking an item and putting into in, in, into sack so the other one is like if you don't choose an item what happens the revenue remains the same the cap sack capacity remains the same and the index goes down by one okay and we just need to return the, the maximum profit this this is going to give me some profit and this is also going to give me some profit but the idea is to take the maximum one so that's what i'm going to return so this this is the recurrence relation now write let's write the driver program to check this problem algorithm so it's not i it's index knapsack initial run is going to be 3 the sack capacity is 10 and the index last index is 3 and we just print off and the max profit is result gcc knapsack.c warning max we haven't written the max function int max int a int b return a is bigger than that's it let's run and see so see yeah it's compiled successfully the max profit is 90 that's interesting but it has some problem the runtime of this algorithm is exponential and we need to bring down and we have to optimize it so it, if you have a bigger array and uh, if you print uh, the computation you can see uh, substructure overlapping uh, what do we mean by substructure overlapping it means that we are trying to recompute the same problem again and again instead of doing that what we can do is we can store the intermediate result and whenever we try to recompute check whether i computed this uh, uh, answer for this problem or not if we computer answer for this particular sub problem you just return that result don't go ahead and recompute it that's the idea about uh, dynamic programming so how do we do that so we just need to have some spend some memory for storing the intermediate result that's dynamic programming um, so now the sack capacity is 10 and the number of item is 4 okay and I'm just going to store the intermediate result sack 
opacity and index. So this will store the intermediate result. Um, and return this result. So before we compute this result, we have to check whether uh, this is going to this contains result or not. If it contains result, then I am going to result the intermediate result instead of recomputing it actually here I, what I do is like um, I check hey did I compute this particular sub problem earlier uh, in that case you just go ahead and return return this otherwise uh, just go ahead and compute that's what the code here is um, so let's keep this run okay because we are uh, considering from 1 to 10 so we need 11 cells let's write the compile this and see 90 so this is called dynamic programming thanks for watching